Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Friends, so today we are discussing the last few days how you to like these few days left for the CLAT pre examination 2024. The exam is like as you all know scheduled on 3rd of December and very few days are left. So we have up to analyze our days so as to get bene maximum benefit for uh, from from these days. Firstly, I want to remind you of the main thing that is negative marks during the examination. There will be 120 uh, questions. So we, you can expect 10 to 12 paragraphs. So if I break down the subjects of the paragraphs, like what from what subject paragraph will be there, you can expect at least two questions from constitutional law, two questions from criminal law, in which one can be from IPC and one from CRPC, and two from jurisprudence, two from international public international law, one from contract, one from family. This completes 10 question, set of questions, 10 panels, passages. There can be two more passages, one from company law or tax law, and one from environmental law. It depends. If the examiner is going for 12 passages, they, they, they will be 12, uh, there will be 12 subjects covered. If 10, this uh, the earlier performance will fall. So just please take a note. There are negative marking of uh, one for negative markings there. So before I proceed further, I would like to give a few, uh, three ideas in which you can attempt the paper, three modes of attempting a paper. This paper is a, you know, is an, uh, you will get an OMAR sheet. So you have to mark, uh, mark the answers on the OMAR sheet. Marking the answers in OMAR sheet is also time consuming process. So there are three models which I personally feel can be followed by any examiner. I will tell you what I follow for, for myself. First is, you mark all the answers. You take around 120 minutes, 1 or 20 minutes, or 1 or 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes you can take. And you, mark, you attempt full paper by taking the answer in your question paper only. Then you pick uh, after, like, when you're left with 20, 30 minutes, you can start marking your in OMAR sheet. So then when you mark all 120 questions on OMAR sheet, it, it will be 30 minutes and will minimum be required. And that you, uh, that this is the first we can do it. But this, the con over here is, it's risky because sometimes you, while attempting the tick mark, you, you won't realize when the time exceeds. So if you're giving a proper hold on time, if you're keeping a record, record of time in a proper manner, then this is okay. Else don't do it if you are not sure what uh, what time you will be able to complete uh, or you're not looking on the time during examination, first thing. Second for, um, uh, way is that you do one or two passages, then you mark on my sheet, the next set of passages, then mark on my sheet. I feel this is more time consuming because when you switch between the two formats, it take, takes time. You are like taking the answer, then you're going on back on the OMAR sheet to uh, scribe over there. So this is a difficult thing. What I suggest the third way is first read the questions. Means once you attempt the paper, in a one hour you will show it. Yes, I know these these many questions. Jahan jab ke hundred percent surety ab wo wo tick kar lo. Up one hour maximum, you will be able to complete reading the full paper and marking those questions for which you have 100% surety of the answers. Then you take, mark those paper, uh, those questions on OMAR sheet. In this manner, you will back, uh, you will be able to mark maximum number of questions on OMAR sheet. Now, one of this, uh, after 10-20 minutes, you took to mark it on OMAR sheet. In the remaining 40 minutes, you go back and start uh, analyzing those questions for which you have 50% surety. Those questions you don't know are already st stuck out. Okay, already uh, put across ki whatever you think, you don't know the answer. So, usko pehli mark karo ki aapko reading mein confusion nahi ho kaun kaun se paper hai. So, just now second, the second round, you just see the questions where you have 50% surety or where you need to analyze more so that you can to drive an answer. So, that will be another 20, 30 minutes. And remaining 10 to 15 minutes, you can mark the questions which you, uh, in the machine, which you got, for, got the answer the second round. So this is third way is a way I suggest for you all to attempt the paper. Before following any of these way, practice this paper on mocks. When you practice on mo uh, during mocks, you will be able to see ki what format, what way suits you well. So just keep a timer, 120 minutes, 120 questions, one mark each, one for the wrong one, one fourth for the wrong answer. Next comes to let's uh, study the slippers. I know this is not the correct time to study the slippers, but what to do now? For what, with respect to each and every subject, I will complete syllabus by uh, subject by subject. I mentioned in the syllabus. So these are the list of sub 
subjects that, that has been mentioned in the sleep in the CLAT consortium website only. Constitution law is a major part of the uh, you can see the major part of the whole PAP examination. And there, you, I'll show you the next slide also that they have used the word constitution very uh, very explicitly in the in the prescription. So. For what you do to, uh, do to do for constitution, revise your constitutional provisions, amendments that have been brought in, in landmark cases. Along with this, supplement these all, all these things with the recent case laws that we have discussed in the class. But where, where, what all discussion is that we had been, has been held in the class, recent case laws, all the important judgments that have been discussed. From those cases, take out what provisions are important. I told you what are the important provisions. Make note of those. You have you have already made a note of those provisions. Just read word by word every provision. That will be very helpful. This goes for constitutional law. Second comes for jurisprudence. See jurisprudence. Uh, let I will talk about. Uh, let's talk about first uh, how to turn a para wise para. Do you need to read a para? This is a very common question for students. So before I proceed further, I would like to answer this first. So. I don't suggest you the para first. Read the question first. When you read the question, you'll see this. Okay, you know the answer. Suppose the, uh, the question is, uh, in which, uh, what uh, what is provided under Article 253? You don't need the para for that. You know what is there in Article 253? You can simply take the answer over there. So what uh, or if the question is, in which article uh, is right equality mentioned? No, it's Article 14. Not need to read the whole paragraph. So such questions can be directly answered without reading the paragraphs. So in constitutional law, contract law, criminal law, family law, and all such uh, passages, most of the questions can be directly answered. But there will be some question on statement-based question, you can rather say, other questions where you need to have read the paragraphs. And that one uh, area is jurisprudence. So because jurisprudence, reading the paragraph will be very helpful in answering your question. So wherever there is a statement-based question or jurisprudence question, a question where you don't know the answer, you have that time and you feel that your answer can be derived from the paragraph. In that case, only read the paragraph. Don't waste time in reading the paragraph, I would say. So constitutional done, jurisprudence, revise your basics. This at least give one day for jurisprudence. Uh, that is more than just sufficient. Administrative law. Administrative law is mostly cluttered with constitutional law, but this year we had two important cases for administrative law. First, uh, first case of Od Odisha administrative tribunal case, constitutional law bench case. So that that is an important for administrative law. You read the, what are the provisions for uh, uh, occasion of administrative tribunal, uh, what uh, how it is abolished and everything. So, at read administrative law properly. In, uh, in, in me reading over here is revising the basics. So what is what suggest is take two, keep two days for the constitutional law and administrative law combined. This will help you to revise all the basics, all your all your all your recent case laws. So two days gone for administrative law and constitutional. Now law of contract. Law of contract dots these two subjects are basically confined to your basics only. I would rather say whatever you have studied in your law school. So there's not nothing new to nothing new content is added over here. Over here. So in law contact contract also in law contract you to remember the pro provisions of the pact very particularly because, for example, in agency questions, law indemnity, guarantee, uh, bailment, pledge, uh, law contract also covers sales of goods, public uh, sorry partnership. LLP. So these all are covered in law of contract. So remember, law of contract is more about provisions and old landmark case laws, not of recent. But in recent, we discuss. I discussed one case on as uh, which was known as NN Global Mercantile. Uh, as far as I remember, that case was an interface of arbitration and contract. So. Uh, arbitration is something which you don't find in this list. Okay, so the, uh, though we study arbitration law also, but this has not been asked yet in the examination. So if I if the examiner picks up any question from arbitration this year, from recent case law, the first case will be this NN Global Mercantile case only, which they will pick up. But it is on interface of contract and arbitration. It's talk about unstamped arbitration agreements. What will be the effect? So, so in that case law becomes important for, for this examination. Thoughts?
you, you have your loss commutes that are most sufficient. Family, every every year we are seeing like in, not every year I would I say in past two three years we see at least one question we passage we have from family law. So it, it it is mostly basic, but context in which family law is asked is recent. Means it is a contextual question. If something recent case law may could discussion whoever recently, then us issue to question pushing. So this time we have discussed cases related to. Uh, we say uh, Article 142 being used for granting divorce when there is a case of irrevocable breakdown uh, of, my, of my, for example, Shilpa Sherish case. Okay, so in the, uh, for that, uh, so in that case, it becomes important for you to remember, for you to uh, you say, uh, in this context, you must read those cases. You, uh, you must you uh, just a second. So yes, what is what? So for family law, you must read the family law the basics as well as the recent case. So when you read the, the provisions of the barrack for family law, read in the context of what all provisions were, dis, were in discussion this year. For example, part, uh, partition was there was one case from partition which, which we discussed. Then again, there were cases from succession. Marriage, divorce. It is uh, again. It was in a discussion. So, for family law, you need to revise that. So, I would say contract, torts, and family law can be completed in one day. Okay. If not in this manner, you can keep uh, torts and contract uh, on one day. Family law and jurisprudence uh, second day. So, four days are gone as I, as I move forward. Now comes criminal law. Keep criminal laws for one full day. Criminal law includes your IPC, provision, bad provision, case laws sufficient. Then you can have a, you should have a direct reading of CRPC and evidence also. Why evidence? Because this year's Apple paper, question papers, you will see there is a question from evidence. Section 27. And we have also discussed in the class some important case laws of evidence. For example, Section uh, 9, TIP, there was a landmark, there was an important judgment by the constitutional bench. And there are main discussions on Section 27, it is confession by uh, what, will, what is the effect of Section 27, 24, 25, 27. So read this question, these, uh, these provisions specifically. Simply similar from CRPC, CRPC arrest becomes important. Your arrest uh, after arrest, you have uh, FIA investigation part becomes important. Then your section 319, 313, uh, okay, then appeal for section 482, inherent powers of, of the high court. So these cases provisions were very much in discussion in this year. So in, in the case law. So yes, this this because of problems and IPC is a very holistic. Uh, so you I, I have IPC has been holistic covered also in the classes also. Okay, so keep one day for criminal law, property law, TPA class, just by the law school notes and most more than sufficient. Company law, what if, if any case law we discuss discuss in class that is sufficient because company law cannot predict the question. Okay, company law is very random because company law and text law I would rather say these are very random questions that are picked up by the examiner. So you cannot predict a question over here. Simply, I would say revise your basics. What I, what you have like IBC Companies Act, and if any recent case of you have to, if any recent law we are covering. For example, tax law we recently covered a case on double tax avoidance argument, the uh, MFN clause. So that can be was uh, some some uh, that can be a case law that can be asked by the examiner. Okay, so property law, company law, tax law, you can all cover it all together on one day. Then uh, last day, last is public international law. Public international law is very current subject because, like in the past two years, we you were seeing in public international there are two uh, questions from Russia and Ukraine only. So this year, in uh, for example, which I tell, I, if I tell you what are the important topics. First is Vienna Convention on uh, Diplomatic Relations with, with regard to the dispute between India and Canada. That becomes important for you. Second is state of state of, of Palestine. Who is uh, Palestinians are observer state before UN? What is the status of observer state? How are observer state different from uh, member states? What rights observer states have? What there are two countries which are given the status of observer states at the UN? That is uh, that is third, third thing is war crimes. So international humanitarian law is something which the examiner can ask. So four Geneva conventions all the their optional protocol 
to operational protocols that becomes different with armed conflict or international armed conflict that becomes important for this examination also so these two things you which is uh, which i suggest you must specifically look for by studying public international law this time text law i told you the last is environmental law environmental and labor uh, industry law so these uh, in the labor and law again a random question can be there so we cannot predict up if you if it cover with basics you are on a safer side i would say environmental law also revise environmental law also revise it in international environmental law the stock of pro, stock of conference and what was the outcome of stock of conference then over the principles that are principal numbers of stock of conference like uh, precautionary principle political pay principles so what the, uh, in which cases these doctrines was firstly first applied in india from where they originated for public trust doctrine originated from the uh, kamalnath case so this is when you must remember and you must remember some of the provisions of the environmental protection act and the rules and also just go to the all the orders or the history of the tn godwardhan case which was which is very well discussed this this year in environmental law so uh, now if i have summarized like how you should divide your time maybe one day full for constitutional law and administrative law one day jurisprudence jurisprudence can combine with torts okay then third uh, third day you can uh, take up law of contract and family law then criminal law this is the fourth day then company property and tax law you can all club it together and you can easily complete it in one day this is the fifth day sixth day i would uh, suggest you taking public international law along with environmental law and you there again you have a if you if uh, on seventh day you can st- Uh, take labor industrial law and if any black back laws you suffer from the previous days you can complete on seventh uh, day so this is a whole seven days i would say seven day schedule you can follow for the for your revision for before the clat if you, st- if you start from tomorrow also you still have seven days and we, if it, uh, we, uh, after that you will ex- have still have extra one day which will help you to revise uh, efficiently revise your syllabus okay moving next so what to do and what not to do so in this paragraph you can see this is taken from the clat consortium website only so see what they are saying they are again stressing upon the important judgments and the constitutional constitutional legal provision so they, they saying they are specifically saying that the, or you we will check your knowledge of these provisions and their judgments in the light of the recent judgments so when you are re- reading the recent judgment just don't read the judgment you must see the provisions that are mentioned in the judgment properly and the landmark cases also so for example there is any case of reservation like arkinar case was there for reservation which we discussed in the class in that case must you must read article 15 you must read the article 16 you must read all the amendments in article 15 and 16 all the all the reservation cases how the reservation process evolved over the period of time then there is janit abhyan case is there for ews ew so you must read all these cases so coming to, uh, to conclude that what to do and what not to do not to do is simple and clear no to anything new you cannot start anything new now no new judgment no new subject picking up nothing new just revise revise and revise what you have studied in the past revision is the only key which will help you to ace exam in last one week okay second is practice mocks in practice mock i would say, say at least you should give two mocks on uh, uh, on in in the you said hand paper format okay now to take a print of omr sheet you can take, you can get the omr sheets from the from uh, market also very you must practice what is the speed you, you are having while uh, filling the omr sheet so, okay so this will help you sometime in examination how what happens some examiners they give in digitals they give time to fill the details of your name roll number uh, before the start of the examination sometimes they don't give you give you that time and the time is also involved in two hours time period okay so you have to be prepared for both of the both the ways so for that you at least twice you may you start to practice in on the omar sheet taking a print of omar sheet also i would say don't practice any question on day and two days before the examination because this will demotivate if you're not able to score good mark in the mock at that period of time you okay, don't do anything bef- two days before so what should you do two days before examination two days before examination i would suggest that take any mock which you have already solved before with the mock which you have solved before practice that mock when you practice that mock cause two things will happen first you will come in the flow examination okay because a uh, next day after exam usi time pe likhna hai on the same time a day before exam you start practicing the mock 
in the OMR sheet format. Don't do it on online, do it in hard copy format. First thing. And second, you're doing a previous mock on your solving, so it will help you revise what you have already just studied. But it will add no new content in your in your learning process. So this is something which I feel you must do it before the for, for a day before the examination. So it'll help you to build up confidence also. Okay. So next is uh, I'll share, I'm sharing with you all the important recent case laws which you can suppose you've not read the full case all the cases, but these are the cases which we had discussed in the class also. And from those, I made a small list of the cases which which I feel are the most important for your examination. For example, this government of SD Delhi of uh, was senior of India, so Bahash Desai. These are important cases of the constitutional law. In SD Delhi, we had discussed very in very detail all the constitutional provisions also. So Bahash Desai, governor of uh, Maharashtra case, this case again been in, in language why because the governor is not taking take any action against the proceedings that have been initi initiated by the uh, by the okay, by the uh, against the you know, members disqualified, so the Supreme Court has again given a direction. So this pe case becomes about why uh, Balaji said the Balaji again uh, with the cut of PMLA. So you just when you're reading this case, just see the history of how the PMLA Act came into being, what are the amendments that have been made in PMLA. Act. Read Vijay uh, Madanlal case where in the, the amendment act was held to be constitutionally valid. So in this case, it too has to be read in this in this manner. Sukhpal so, Singh case with it deals with CRPC section 313. So this helped you to revise all the provi uh, provisions of the or, or the wordings of the section 313 of CRPC. Or the administrative tribunal case, again important case for administrative law. But then broadcasting is important for article. Article 19. So you read what is Article 19, all the reasonable restrictions in Article 19, all for all the different clauses, important cases of Article 19. And then what is uh, under sealed cover policy was there that was mentioned. Anubanaval is an important case for election commission. So when you're reading Anubanaval, you have to read Mohinda Singh Singh case, you have to read uh, TN session case, you have to read all the previous cases of dealing with uh, in you say uh, election commission, the powers of election commission arts. Article 324 and everything. Block Asia, it's an also important case. It is also an interface of constitutional law and uh, contractual law. So, what are how the government of India enters into a contract? What is Article 329, 300? To read that case, Animal Welfare Board of India case, again, important case with the card to fundamental rights of animals. Jaitako case, important case, it deals with appointment of uh, appointment directors on ED, CVC, and CBI. So, a question you can you have a question because this is something which, you, which is very, very much in discussion in the legal arena. Then, uh, uh, for example, from in company law, they can ask a question for competition commission also. Compet uh, competition actors, competition actors also co comes under company uh, company law only. Okay, so uh, in broadly broadly under company law. So in this to, this year there was one case of Coal India Limited was company uh, where, where in the it was held whether Coal India will be covered under the uh, under the provisions competition commission, uh, commission of India because with the card to abuse the dominant power, power position. So we have read what is dominant position, how there's abuse of dominant position. Read those section three, four, nineteen, which we did in detail in the class also. This device that that is more than sufficient. Shilpa Shailesh case again. This is an important case. Indra Jaising. Yeah, in such a position is uh, Article 142 use of Article 142 for a difficult breakdown of marriage. In the Jaisin case, in the Jaisin case, there was a, one case first in 2017. Then this year, in the Jaisin, and another there, there's one more case recently in October month when the court had clarified some of the directions with regard to senior advocates of, of appointment of senior advocates. What are the provisions of the Advocates Act with regard to senior advocates? Section 226. You must all revise that. But all in the uh, Fernandez case, Ritu Chavaria case, the uh, Ritu Chavaria case also important case because uh, it, uh, the uh, after the case was uh, judgment was found, the court made a subsequent uh, order which clarified, which modified the previous order, or you cannot modify, justified that, clarified that. So here, yes, Ritu Chavaria is open. Dev Gupta reservation case important. Kavita Yadav also very important case. 
and in global market i'm telling you if they want to ask uh, any question of arbitration of first case they will pick up and in global mercantile santa kumar so arubuyan very very important case i could say for uh for the con from constitution law satin kumar until this also important case vivek narayan case important case of the de uh, demotization policy of the government here you have a two you have a separate uh Minority opinion of being Agratna also you see what are the what are the differences between majority and minority, what are the points of difference, what are the issues, and how both the both the opinions differ over here. Then you have Kaushal Kishore case. Uh CBI was the uh RK Kishore, they uh they one day see Dapa was a Malikoja important case for for uh, family law for part uh, we are studying the succession over here. Rocha the Suprio, same sex marriage, you, we are discussed in the class also. Then comes X. Uh, another point of case is X was a uniform India. When in, I told you that it was a, one case two days before X was a uniform India, also when in the court has ordered for uh, abortion, and the court, uh, the the uh, you can say AIMS director was he he sent a mail to uh, mail, and then the case was again recalled, and the court uh, declined to uh, uphold abortion, and the abortion plea was declined by uh, by the court. Ultimately, so why did the court accept the sub review in this manner? What did the court say? For Sanjeev said, "Give us the truth." He said that this is not the usual way. The usual way should be the curative petition, review petition, which should be opted by the aims. But they didn't do that. So why? Because just because of the urgency in the matter, we are we are accepting this way. But this should not be the normal. It should be an exception only. So the, uh, that that is important. That Rajesh Rajesh Jain it. Uh, at Rajesh Jain, yes, it relates to the negotiable instruments act. That comes on law of contract only. So, at Article 138, Article so Section 138, and Section 139, it is important. Last is assessing uh, officer circle. It again, uh, it deals with tax law. I told you, double tax avoidance agreement, MFN clause. Because this time, if they ask ask a question for from this tax law, you can frame a question from double taxation avoidance agreement. So, it is an interlink between inter at the interface of international law. Tax law board. So this is all I have for you for in this uh, in this session. These are all important case laws that are there for, for you must uh, go through. These case laws study will be incomplete without studying the basics. Again, I'm repeating: please study the basics. Please strengthen your revise the provision, revise the important case law. That will be more helpful uh, for the examination and nothing else. Okay. If you have any, uh, so I have also included some of the questions to tell you what kind of questions examiner can frame you and how you must answer those questions. For example, in this case, government of NCD Delhi was you know, So first case, uh, first question, uh, first question is, which are the following forms of class of UT? So UT with state legislator, UT without state legislator, NCD Delhi, and all about the all the above. So we know UT, we have to kind of UT. UT with state legislator and without state legislator. Confusing part will be NCD Delhi. If you have read this case, know the judgment of this case, you must be known the court had said that NCT Delhi is a sui generis type of UT. So in this, uh, so it is also a class of UT, a different from the above two. So in this case, the answer will be all of the above. Next case, for example, uh, so uh, this case, this question I've included to point out that you must remember the historical context Along with the constitution provisions are revolving around uh, that case also. For example, in this case, the question is the government of a state does not have power to regulate service of which of the following. So if we know that except three things, uh, the NCT Delhi doesn't have uh, in which the government of a state doesn't have power to reg uh, register power also. So what are the uh, so court had said in the present case that Government of NCD Delhi will have the power to regulate services in all the matters of the state list, but except those matters which cover and come under the purview of the center. So among uh, uh, among these options, uh, public order, police, land is the first option. A is the correct answer. When if on these subjects the NCD Delhi can, cannot regulate the services, but again I will uh, let like tell you over here that we uh, we have our ordinance also passed after this judgment. That ordinance has also been challenged before the court. So just see the trail of what is happening after that. What happened after that? What 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 did the ordinance provide? What did the court said? What was what had the ordinance provided? What changes were brought in by the ordinance? Okay. So this is a question of statement based. When you see the statement question based question, just see uh, read the you can see, I was saying read the read the paragraph. That will be helpful for answering. 
how this uh, this discussion reflects in what is the historical concept so in discussion the question is whose recommendations on whose recommendation state reorganization act 1956 was passed so the answer correct answer is puzzle ali commission so uh, if you're reading the case law you must know what are the background of that case law then this case law this exam this question i'll read this question detail and tell you how to attempt if you don't have don't idea so first thing when you're whenever you're reading any any law uh, any constitutional provision you must see whether some rules are framed up under those under that under that law because examiner tend to uh, we have seen earlier also there was a question from sebi rules rules framed by sebi so there can be a question similarly when this case the question can be does the ec uh, the eci issued the symbols or in 1968 an exercise of the powers conferred by which of the following so i don't know what is eci i don't know what so i don't know what are the rules that i say fit so if, how will i attempt the paper first i will uh, i'll see eci is a constitutional body so eci is a constitutional body means something must be said by the, in the constitution jahan usko power mili hogi so you can see option c is has no mention of eci of constitutional provision so option c goes out next is op, uh, next is option b in option b you will see the word only is there see the word only is then uh, c may no 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 constitution so it goes out b may only word is there means it is an extreme provision extreme uh, thing is mentioned over so any extremity is not the answer it is it is mostly followed that whenever there is an extreme thing is in any option is extreme word is used like only you should avoid the uh, marking as well if the in question only the word only is there then the, the, you can have a extreme answer but not other the case otherwise so b and c go out next question next is i know next is c a and d a and d only difference is between the article number so here i have to see what article number suppose i now know the article number also i know 324 mein superintendence direction controlling power eci ko 327 pata hai mujhe ye kuch aur power hai so i will see if if we ec has a power for direction control so it means how, uh, in then only eci will frame orders for simple order simple order means like, allotment symbols to the political party so hence i will conclude his answer is a and this way you should attempt the question now you should also read the cases which had been discussed by the court in the while pronouncing the judgment for example in the present so in the so much this i case the court had declined to refer this nabam reba case to the larger bench so this issue was raised so must you must you must know what this case dealt with so the answer over here is uh, a and notice nabam reba case dealt with the notice of removal of speaker restricts them from continuing with disqualification proceedings on the 10th schedule of the constitution so this is all for the today's session if you have any doubts you can put it down in the comment box i'll will try to answer i would just say be calm during the examination during the preparation if you when you're solving the paper there will be two type of conditions ki when you see a question first two questions first two passages i would say you will say oh i don't know i am not able to answer any of those passages so th this will demotivate you so maintain calmness just say to it to yourself okay i'm not able to answer the first two questions i will be able to answer the next next questions next passages but this, uh, so this will be help you to make you make you keep yourself motivated regulated second situation can be when you say okay i am able to answer first two questions two passages bahut acche se maine answer kar diya i will uh, crack this examination very easily but sare question answer kar sakte ho abhi in the next uh, next coming question so this will give uh, like you can say make you over excited over confident so that is also bad for examination because when you see the, uh, when you see the first two question that you able to solve just say to yourself okay these two are solved let's try and other, next questions also i may or may not be able to solve those it's oh, good i solved this but it will be better if i solve all the questions only then it would be best so okay Men, so maintain calmness don't be over excited during examination don't be demotivated keep the motivation keep the calmness this all what i have to say all the very best for the, for, for exam hope you study well hope you prepare well take proper sleep also one thing i would like to highlight so and in these days at least one day one week before the examination please keep yourself at a study time at the study, on the study table on, on you know, 2 to 4 time period of the examination 2 pm to 4 pm i will practice mock it will be very good if you practice mock in that time frame or you keep your or you study at that time because this will help you you to change your body cycle 
adaptable cycle